Hello everyone. Uh, in today's uh, problem session, we will talk about a uh, combinatorics problem. It's basically an application of bijection principle. So it's an application of bijection principle. This problem is from the book Test of Mathematics uh, published by ISI. Uh, the statement of the problem is quite simple actually. It says that uh, there are 10 persons, number 1 to 10, who play a chess tournament. So person 1, person 2, up to person 10, they play a chess tournament. And each player playing against, against every other player exactly one game. So each player plays exactly one game with every other player. Now, it's also, it also says that uh, each game results in a win for one of the players, so there is no draw. Now, for P1, the number of wins is suppose W1. So for P1, the number of wins is W1. For P2, the number of wins is W2. And for P10, the number of wins is W10. And similarly, we can say for P1, the number of losses is L1. The number of losses for P2 is L2. And similarly, for the number of uh, for P10, the number of losses is 10, P L10. Now, uh, we want to find the relationship between the wins and the losses. Uh, so, I'll give you an opportunity to try the problem before you see the entire solution. So, in this first installment of our discussion, we will just give you a hint, a small hint. So, the hint is this that uh, firstly compute the number of matches the number of matches and that's quite simple you have to just compute 10 choose 2 10 c2 or 10 choose 2 whichever uh, notation you are familiar with so that's because from 10 teams you have to choose two teams who are playing the game and since each team plays every other team exactly once, this would be the number of games. And that's equal to 10 times 9 divided by 2. That's 45. Now there is something interesting about the number of wins and the number of losses. So can you think about what is the sum of, let's say, W1 plus L1, where W1 is number of wins for team 1, and similarly L1 is the number of losses for team 1. So that's the first thing you have to think about. What is W1 plus L1? Similarly, what is W2 plus L2 and so on? And secondly, also think, also think, what is the value of W1 plus W2 plus up to W10? What is the value of L1 plus L2 up to L10? So if you think about these three things number of matches uh, value of w1 plus l1 and w2 plus l2 and so on and the value of the sum of the wins and the sum of the losses i think you will be able to solve the problem on your own give it a try and then uh, check the link in the description to go to the second installment of this discussion have fun